Hi everyone, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days, and today is day 12, September 12th, September being National Preparedness Month. Um, this month we are doing a video every single day in hopes that it will inspire you to become better prepared in different areas. Today we're going to talk about toolkits. Not something you normally hear about uh, when people talk about being prepared. However, tools are very, very important. And we're not talking about state-of-the-art, most expensive, you know, toolkits. We're talking basic, real, real basic. Everybody, male, female, 13 to, you know, 80. Everybody needs a basic toolkit. What's in a basic toolkit? Okay, here we go. First, there is a... Uh, tape measure or a ruler, but preferably a tape measure because it has the ability to go longer than your average ruler. Okay, um, then a hammer, but you you don't want just any hammer. You want a claw hammer. You want to be able to pull nails out um, or you know use that claw part as a tool. So a claw hammer is really important. Um, pliers, pliers are important, and there's a couple different kinds. I I like having a couple of varieties on hand. Your common pliers, you know the what do they call them, uh, slip joint pliers, and then there's needle nose pliers. I think that those are very important and have their place in a basic toolkit also. Um, hex keys, I, everyone's seen them, they come with, you know, furniture that you buy and that kind of stuff, but if you get a chance and you find some, put them in your toolbox. Another one is a ratcheting bit driver. Very, very handy. Um, this is, you know, just one of those things that takes the place of a number of tools. Puppy dog wants some attention. Um, scissors. Now, any kind of scissor, you know, is better than no scissor at all. But they do have the sturdier, thicker, more utilitarian scissors. And that's the kind that you really do want around. Um, great for sometimes, um, they're, you, you know, you can use them as light, light, thin wire cutters. They're great when it comes to zip ties and, you know, all kinds of different things. So more of a utilitarian one. Um, another one is um, bits, okay? You want different bits to go into your screwdriver. So um, I'll show you in a, in a link below the kit that we have, the kit that we utilize as the emergency kit. I cannot tell you how many screwdrivers we have in this house. It is crazy, okay? But we have a kit specific for emergencies that is with all of our emergency preps um, and it's separate from the other ones because once you put things with all the other toolkits stuff vanishes you know what I mean it just grows legs and it walks away and it never gets back to where it's supposed to whereas the preparedness kits that we've got set up especially the toolkit I want to make sure everything in there stays in there <laughs> so we don't intermingle the two so you want specialty bits you want um, a snap-off knife uh, you know the the blade, uh, you know, just a razor blade kind of thing. Um, and then screwdrivers. So you want two Phillips head screwdrivers and two standard tip screwdrivers. And you want them in two different sizes, a larger one and a smaller one, okay, on both. And then a bit connector and some kind of case to carry it all in to keep it compact. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description box below of the kit that we utilize um, because it just makes it easier to keep everything together. Another great addition is a uh, small hacksaw, and you'll see that's in the kit also. Now, here comes the interesting one. You ready? Okay, I got this for Phil after seeing um, an ad on it last last year. Yeah, and um, this has become one of our most appreciated and most used tools around the homestead for a number of things. Um, it's a Wakeman multifunction camping axe. Uh, with saw and fire starter. So those are kind of like little bonus things, you know, the saw and the fire starter. Okay, but it has this uh, thing here. So it's got that little saw. Okay. And you can just... <laughs> I want to get it all put away the way it was. Um, okay. I will get back to that. Okay, so I'll get back to that. And there's a fire starter. The fire starter is right here. Okay. But this axe is so wickedly sharp um, that it has become our uh, tool of choice when we have to dispatch one of the chickens because it is such a serious clean cut. Um, it's a nice weight. It's got the weight behind it. We leave the guard on it. It literally is hanging 
by our cast iron pans in the kitchen. I don't know if you've ever noticed it. Um, because we want it close, we want we don't want to have to hunt for it. Because typically, when it comes time to dispatch one of the chickens, it's because something has happened to it. Um, you know, we we just are trying to uh, give it a better quality of death than what it's going through. So having a really good a really good little hatchet, a really good axe, is really important. Phil uses this for kindling. Um, it. It's a really great axe. I literally want to get a couple more just to have around in different areas. The best part is they're like super affordable. They're, they're under $23, okay? So I'll put a link to these below too. Cannot say enough great things about the Wakeman axe. Really, really like it. And it's got this clip. You see the clip? I'm really lousy at this. But there's a clip here. So you can actually hang it on your belt. You can hang it from different things. Um, your backpack, you know, that kind of stuff if you backpack. I just thought it was a really great tool uh, when I ordered it. I never thought that it would be such an awesome, awesome tool. Um, you know, I was kind of in love with the idea. Turns out it's a phenomenal axe. So I highly recommend that too. That is... That's our basic toolkit right there, you guys. Those are the, the basic things that you need that take care of most everything. Uh, in an emergency situation with a house like, say, hurricanes or forest fires or anything like that, you want to be able to shut off the water. You want to be able to shut off the gas. You want to be able to shut off the propane. You want to be able to shut everything down and get away, okay? You want to be able to make minor repairs um, to automobiles or anything else that you're dealing with. So that, really... <laughs> really important, just noticed her, um, really important to have some kind of tools in your emergency preps. Not count on your regular toolkits to be part of those because tools tend to grow legs and walk and not having them available when you really need them is a rough way to go. Okay. Um, I hope that this was helpful and inspired you in some way to add to your toolkit. I would love to hear what else you would add to it. Please be sure to leave that in the comment section below and be sure to check back because the comments on this series are phenomenal. We're getting a whole bunch of really great comments with great ideas and suggestions because everybody's different. Everybody preps different. Everybody's situation is different in our preparations are unique to us and what we need and so the the ideas in the comment sections are fantastic and I hope you come back come, come back and read them all <laughs> okay so remember if you like what we do here please hit that like subscribe and share check us out on Instagram and Facebook please be sure to check out the links down below and until next time be safe bye